look at these two properties. The first one is the high power. Okay. The ultrasound, that is the frequency, the, fre the sound having frequencies below 20 hertz, right? Okay, do you agree with this part? That ultrasound, the sound having frequencies below 20 hertz, right? Okay, Smriti is agreeing with this part. Anybody else who agrees with this part? Okay, very good. It is above 20 kilohertz, right? It is above the 20 kilohertz that I am talking about, right? So, ultrasounds are the sounds having frequencies above 20 kilohertz and the first property is the high power, right? That is, these waves have very high power, okay? Due to high frequency and ultrasonic wave has large power associated with it, okay? I hope you understand the meaning of power, okay? What is the power? I suppose uh, we have studied the work and energy chapter, right? We have done the work and energy, rate of doing work, exactly, right? It is the work upon time, okay? Did we discuss that uh, uh, example where the two boys were climbing the stair, stairs and uh, one of the boys climbed the stair before the other one, right? I hope you remember that particular example, okay? So, it is related to that part only. So, who has more power? The boy who reached the stair, who reached the top floor earlier, okay? So, that boy had the greater power, right? So, it is similarly over here also that the ultrasonic wave has larger power associated with it, okay? Fine. And the next important uh, property is that it is good, it's good directionality, okay? That is, the ultrasonic waves are able to travel along well-defined straight paths even in the presence of the obstacles, okay? So that means that even if there are very small, tiny part, obstacles, okay? Let's suppose that in the air, there are lot of dust particles or something very small particles that are present in the air, okay? Then also the this ultrasound will be able to move in the straight path, okay? That is the most important point, okay? They are, well, they can travel along well-defined straight paths, okay? They will not bend, okay? Suppose there were any, there were any, uh, there were, you compare the infrasounds and the ultrasounds, okay? So, infrasounds have very small frequency, okay? So, can you tell me which one will have a greater wavelength if the speed is same? Okay, so take up this example, just, I'll just uh, explain you over here, okay? See, suppose we have infrasound and ultrasound, okay? Both are having same speed, the speed is same, okay? So, which one will have a same, which one will have a greater wavelength? Which one is going to have a greater wavelength? Ultrasound is going to have a greater wavelength. Okay. Okay, just forget it. You guys are not getting this part. Okay. See, which one will have a greater frequency? Give me the answer for this one. Which one will have a greater frequency? Give me the answer for this one. Greater frequency. Greater frequency will be this one, right? Okay. And which one will have a greater wavelength? Now give me the answer. Which one will have a greater wave, uh, wavelength? Infra one will, infra will have a greater wavelength, right? And ultra will have smaller wavelength, right? So what happens is that due to the large wavelength of the infra sounds, okay, due to the large wavelength of the infra sounds, they can get easily bent, okay? That is, their the size of the obstacle is pretty much very less than the wavelength itself, okay? The size of the obstacle in the case of the infra sounds, okay? 